Alright guys, this video is all about taking your created videos using NVIDIA AI to the next level or adding more of a personalized touch to your video. Also ideas for how to create your own videos, thumbnails or images or covers using AI as well. So AI for covers, however, for the personalized touch, we're gonna be using editing software like Premiere Pro, and we're gonna do simple steps in there, so don't worry about that. And that's why we're not gonna be starting with a Premiere Pro in this video. We're gonna be talking about the cover ideas first, because if you're not into editing softwares, I think in video can be sufficient. So that could be an optional part for you guys, okay? So without further ado, here we have that video, it's created by InVideo, it's mind-blowing facts about human body, and it's really cool, I can play a little bit of that Get one. Get ready to be amazed, did you know your body could power a light bulb? Let's uncover more incredible secrets of the human body. First off, your stomach gets a new lining every three to four days to prevent it from digesting itself. Talk Okay, enough information for you guys, I'm not gonna spoil it for you, you should watch it on my own YouTube channel. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna be using that one in Premiere Pro. And here's also another video I created using InVideo. That would be a touristic video about New York. So let's say we created that amazing video about New York touristic places. You're in for a treat. I'm here to zoom you through the top five. And I like that video a lot. I'm gonna be uploading that one to YouTube. I need to have a cover photo for that video. Actually, we can still use AI to do that for us. So we can use a tool like Midjourney, Dali, or even Ideogram. I don't know if that one would be good for creating covers. However, Midjourney is known to be amazing. It might not be free. You can use $10 a month plan. This one can be free. Other tools are free as well. However, I really use Midjourney a lot, so I'm gonna be giving you an example. And basically, you can use the same concept in every other AI generative website, because eventually they are all similar in how they can work or how you can command them. So I do use that reverse engineering technique in Midjourney. And if you wanna know more about that creative reverse engineering technique, I already explained that one in my other AI course. It's about pro advertising and AI graphic design and stuff like that. However, in a nutshell, once you type midjourney.com and links are in your resources, so don't worry about that. You'll find that you are in that explore tab. Usually you need to use uh, an application like Discord along with that website. But I start by searching in here for NYC YouTube cover since it's a video about touristic places in New York and instantly you get these amazing images created by other creatives using Midjourney as well. So I get to see what they are typing in there to get similar images. So for instance, I really like that one in here. If I right click, I can select use prompt, which will be added in here. That's what that user has used for creating that image. Typing your prompts in here is still in alpha as you can see. So you can execute that one in here or you can copy that. Command or control C and go to your Discord app. Type a forward slash of course after selecting Midjourney and preferably speaking to Midjourney pot. Remember guys, this video is not about going in details. I'm assuming you know a little bit about these applications. Otherwise, it's gonna be a very long video. So anyway, we can select Midjourney Pod and instead of clicking in here and selecting one of the chat rooms, because it's crowded, we will keep posting their prompts in there and it's quite distracting. So you can click on Midjourney Pod and text message like that. Then we're gonna click in here forward slash then type imagine you'll find it in here paste the prompt we just saw time square then you can hit return and it's going to be creating that photo for us we can click on that image as well to see it more in detail like so it's really amazing it's going to be a very catchy image for a youtube cover you can download that image or the created image for you from discord or midjourney 
and add a text or a title in there it's gonna be attracting viewers while they are scrolling on youtube or so usually titles do amazing then use that one as a thumbnail cover for your youtube video or tiktok or whatever i think we got our image ready here we go these are stunning results as you can see i like that one if you like version one you can upscale this u is for upscale v for variations so if you like version one this is one two three and four if you like first one you can upscale that one and also you can click on variations to get similar for images from that one so we can click that one as well submit so that's our upscaled image we can open that one on web to see it very cool image we can download that one clicking in here to download it and once we have it we need to open photoshop yeah that's about copyright claims and stuff like that you'll find these in your resources as well because since you're gonna be uploading images on youtube or tiktok you need to know about copyrights and stuff like that you can't use anyone's videos or images and upload them and get monetized you know so anyway once you have your image added in photoshop you can start using the type tool and start typing in here i know you can see that let's highlight everything command or control a white let's make it black usually you need to have very large text when it comes to creating uh titles on your images so i clicked outside to deselect that text pressing command or control t scaling that one down a bit then holding alt or option key gonna duplicate that one again typing in y new york then places this is very quick demonstration for you guys yeah something like that now we do have our type we can adjust that one we do have layers panel and if you would like to access any of these windows you can go to window and that's our layers panel for instance where we do have three layers of type that's one two and three we can hold shift key and select all of them move them around like so or even select only one of them to nudge it a bit like so using arrow keys or holding shift and arrow keys to move it like 10 increments at once now we can select the background layer and add a layer from that plus icon on top of that layer then selecting brush tool or pressing b on keyboard make sure you do have default colors black and white or press d on keyboard then for that layer's opacity let's make it 70 or 60 or something like that we can always change that we can start clicking and painting like so to have more readable text okay we can change opacity a bit could be a quick start for creating youtube thumbnails or covers it's not a final design i can keep working on that one i do already have dedicated courses on designing and graphic designing so you can check them out as we can't really cover design rules and photoshop in one video as you can imagine now moving to the second part of personalizing your videos we're gonna be using an application like Premiere Pro we're gonna be doing minor customizations in there and don't worry guys we're not gonna go in details however once you open the application you can give it a name that's in video video create that's how it should look like when you create a new project everything is blank you can drag and drop your video in that project area so once you drag and drop your video in the part it's gonna be existing like that then you need to drag that one to timeline it's gonna be creating a sequence out of that video like so and a sequence is like a timeline as you can see with dimensions and frame rates and stuff like that so now we have that video we can start by color grading that video for instance so if we move that one maybe to that part as you can see i'm using that play head in here to scrub through that video then here from that upper corner workspaces i'm gonna select something like color and we do have creative part and basic correction from basic correction you can work on temperature you can change videos temperature 
either cooler or warmer tint saturation you can make it less saturated like that which might take your video to another level by the way you can also work on exposure which is basically like lighting and stuff like that also you can apply these on a different layer adjustment layer on top of that one uh, but that's another topic so as i promised i'm not gonna go into too much details also we do have the creative part that's like instagram filters or tiktok filters so currently we do have lock none we can select from any of these ones in there so it's gonna be high contrast for instance uh, also we can use that one from here to see a preview and if we like any of that we can click on it so let's say we like that one we can click in here and it's applied we can check that one for different parts of the video I think it looks much better with these adjustments also another hack we can do in here let's mute that audio file for a second by pressing on that M remember to disable that one when you are exporting your video otherwise your video will not have audio so if we start hovering in between we can also add maybe another text in here using the text tool if you would like if you feel your video needs more uh, comments from your own side also you can start adding sound effects for instance like chimes and stuff like that so let's literally add a chime sound to show you an example for that that's airpos seatbelt sound so i'm gonna add that one here drag and drop in my audio channel 2 so let's minimize that that's audio channel 2 if we go ahead and play that it's gonna sound like that if we enable that audio one it's gonna be in the background of our video over 15, times a day. something like that and i know guys currently it's totally irrelevant however it's all about the concept in here okay because maybe a facts video doesn't need the uh, sound effects or chimes or stuff like that but there are so many youtube videos that will be using chimes tin and some bobbing texts as well maybe with some emojis as well so that's what i mean when i talk about taking your video to the next level or make it even more personalized maybe cloning your own voice as well or adding your own custom b-rolls so let's take another irrelevant example again and show you guys how we can do that or an example on that that's actually a video that i shot on my phone I can drag that one and drop it in here in projects part then I can drag it to my sequence and I'm gonna hold and maintain option or alt key click on that audio deleted now I do have my video file in here I took that one while I was driving <laughs> by the way so here you can get the idea you can insert your own custom b-rolls in the middle talk about self-care next you 15,000 times a day that's all we can shrink that one all the way to here and as i told you guys that's a relevant example because that video has nothing to do with that video <laughs> but hopefully you get the idea in there another example is that we can paste our intro before that generated video by in video so if i click in here to move that playhead then let's maybe open another project open recent that video in there that's actually an intro i'm working on so, so, so. for a youtube gaming channel okay i hope you watch that channel by the way probably i'll be posting a link to that channel in your resources as well if you are interested into aviation and gaming that channel gonna be about aviation and gaming and doing crazy stuff in aviation so that's an intro i'm working i'm still working on that intro by the way i'm gonna copy that one that's the video file and that's the audio file command of control c going back to our ai generated video then i'm gonna be selecting everything let's move it to here placing my playhead at the beginning control v now we have that video pasted in there let's customize them a little bit I'm gonna be dragging that audio to start with the video file, drag into the beginning, then if we 
place our play hidden here we can see what's going in there that's by the way a 4k video file from here and it's very large that's why it's very scaled we need to select only that file scale it down maybe to 50 percent and see what we get uh, still very large we can go to 25 something like that let's increase it increase it like that then we can see how that looks like so, so, so. again that's another relevant example for that video however it's all about the concept guys <laughs> i have to keep repeating that now we can drag our generated video and place it at the end of our intro then maybe we can add a transition between these two files so every video of yours will have an intro before the video itself this could be working mainly for regular youtube videos or explainer videos not shorts because usually shorts don't include intros however most of youtube videos are including intros so if you want to add your own intro you can do it like that in premiere if you want to add a transition you can go again to the part workspaces and select effects then from here you can see video transitions usually i search for them so i'm looking for dip to black and there is dip to black and white i'm gonna drag and drop that one in here like so we needed to shorten that one a bit to blend better but these are quick examples as i told you get ready to be amazed did you know your body i hope you get the idea get ready to be amazed Get ready to be amazed. So that's a dip to black. And if you're wondering how to get animation for your logo or logo reveal, there is that amazing website. It's called Motion Array. So you need to go to Marketplace, Premiere Pro. Then you can select templates or presets. And if you're using Final Cut Pro, you'll find templates. And for DaVinci Resolve as well, you'll find templates and macros. So let's go to templates for instance for premiere pro then we can type logo reveal and once you hover over any of these you can see how that's gonna look like you can create your logo using adobe illustrator as well it has an ai generative tool or you can hire someone from fiverr to do it for you or you can go to midjourney and use a high quality image for your logo that could be working as well or even you can use that website and once you do have your logo you can download a preset like any of these there are very cool logo intros in there <laughs> that's very cool as you can see and even you can start searching by your own niche so for instance you can type logo reveal aviation and you'll find some nice logos in there so let's go back to our premiere pro another trick you can use is like you can add slow motion to some parts of your video especially if you do have b-rolls also you can remove the background music from your generated video in InVideo if you do have specific track on your PC exclusive track or something like that you can use it in Premiere and once you're happy with your results you can go to export then select from a preset you can scroll down you can find more presets let's scroll down looking for YouTube Y letter you can select maybe a preset for YouTube 1080 Full HD of course you're gonna be selecting that one if your video is 1080 HD video however in that case we can't really do that because we do have a portrait video and it's shorts in that case we're gonna be using match source because we do have these dimensions for our video it's 1080 by 1920 which means it's 1080 for the width and height will be 1920 Regular videos will be 1920 in width or landscape and 1080 in height. Basically using match source will be safe in most of the cases. Then you can click on export. So you can think of that video as inspirational video for you guys. Not specific steps to follow. Instead it's how to do things or how to use different tools to elevate your video or create your cover and stuff like that. So that was Khalil Ibrahim with you guys. As always, stay creative and I can't really wait to see your own production.